A Harvard astrophysicist just publicly accused NASA of deception. The object in question? 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor you've been following. The controversy? 13 mathematical anomalies that, when combined, have a probability of less than 1 in 10 billion of occurring by chance. NASA says natural comet. Avi Loeb says the mathematics tells a different story. You know the basics. Now let's examine what the numbers actually reveal. Loeb ranks his anomalies by probability. The strongest have odds below 0.004%, 4 in 100,000. Here's the most striking. On March 16, 2026, 3i Atlas will approach Jupiter at a distance of 53.445 million kilometers, essentially identical to Jupiter's hill radius of 53.502 million kilometers. For those unfamiliar, the hill radius is the boundary of Jupiter's gravitational sphere of influence. It's precisely where you'd place satellites for minimal fuel requirements at the Lagrange points L1 and L2. Across the full diameter of Jupiter's orbit, this precision represents a 1 in 26,000 probability. Think about that. An object traveling for billions of years through interstellar space, arriving at precisely the optimal orbital insertion point. And that's just the first anomaly. Second, the retrograde trajectory aligns within five degrees of the ecliptic plane, the plane where our planets orbit, probability 0.2%. For an object from interstellar space, the approach angle should be random. This alignment makes planetary encounters remarkably convenient. Third, the anti-tail. Throughout July, August, and November 2025, the object displayed a sunward jet. A high-rise image near Mars confirmed a glowing extension ahead of the object along its direction of motion. Penn State astronomer Jason Wright points out that large dust grains can create this effect, but Loeb asks, why would this particular configuration persist across multiple months? Fourth and fifth, the gas plume contains only 4% water, far below typical solar system comets. Instead, significantly more nickel than iron, resembling industrially produced nickel alloys. An extreme negative polarization unprecedented for all known comets, including 2i Borisov. NASA calls it natural. So where's their math? At NASA's November 19th press conference, Associate Administrator Amit Kshatriya stated emphatically, this object is a comet. It looks and behaves like a comet, and all evidence points toward it being a comet. Loeb's response was immediate. He criticized NASA for repeating an official mantra and quoted Sherlock Holmes, there is nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. Here's the scientific tension. Wright analyzed Loeb's claims and concluded that of his anomalies, only four genuinely interest planetary scientists, the nickel abundance, extreme polarization, water scarcity, and rapid brightening. Wright argues these are the sorts of anomalies one expects from a new kind of comet. But Loeb counters with statistical mathematics, the probability of multiple independent anomalies occurring together is the product of their individual probabilities. Many of you witnessed when science said Mars is dead, until we found water, when they said exoplanets are rare, until Kepler found thousands. The history of astronomy is a history of revised certainties. The answer comes in two phases. December 19th, 3i Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth at 270 million kilometers, optimal for observation. Loeb explains, a spectroscopic measurement of the jet velocity and composition would reveal whether they stem from sublimation of ice pockets on a rock surface or from technological thrusters. Then March 2026, Jupiter. If Juno detects new objects in Jupiter's orbit that we didn't put there, we'll have our answer. Three questions for the comments. One, can a 1 in 26,000 Jupiter precision really be coincidence? Two, should NASA release the raw spectroscopic data publicly? Three, what evidence would convince you either way? Subscribe if you don't want to miss what December and March reveal, because in four months, one side of this debate will be proven right. The mathematics doesn't lie. The question is, what is it telling us?